Oh, I think I love he. That's how you drop a collection. Yes. Hey everybody, Siki here, and I'm back at you with another video. Hey, and I'm very, very excited. Like I'm always excited per the huge, but I'm excited. Okay, relax, Wusa. I am gonna show you a little demo of me applying this foundation, and I will tell you what I think while I'm applying the foundation. Then come on back through here so we can chat a little bit, all right? All right, y'all, so let's get in it. I am gonna give you guys my thoughts on the new Fenty by Rihanna or Fenty Beauty by Rihanna foundation girl like oh my gosh I just got this today I am gonna give you my first impression of this foundation and y'all know I am a makeup artist I'm a makeup instructor and I've been on YouTube for five years so I can pretty much tell you how I feel about a little feel about a <laughs> I can pretty much tell you guys how I feel about a foundation this is the only thing I picked up from the collection and this is what the box looks like okay it is called Fenty Beauty by Rihanna and the name of the foundation reads as thus. No, I'm just kidding. So the name of the foundation is Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation. And the shade that I picked up is in the shade 400 and that is what it looks like on the box it is pretty true to color on the box so disclaimer i'm gonna do like i always do per the huge i am rocking a primer i didn't pick up her primer but i am rocking a primer and i am rocking a corrector because that is the real deal holy field that is how i rock a foundation so i cannot really give you my thoughts if i don't wear it like i usually wear it you feel me Oh, here we go. It says medium to full coverage for all. Long wear, light as air. And then it's in another language. So you're supposed to shake it well before you um, apply it. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna be using the Bye Bye Pores Primer by It Cosmetics, which as you guys can see, it is a love thing. But, so I was gonna buy this foundation online, right? And let me tell you what had happened. What had happened was I have a really weird undertone. Like I have a little bit of olive in my skin. I do have the golden going on. I don't have a whole lot of red like everybody tends to think that, you know, all women of color have in their skin. So I just knew something told me don't go by online. I actually called Sephora, the Sephora near me. And I'm like, do you guys have the foundation? And they were like, Yes. I was like, the deep colors? They were like, yes. I was like, for real, girl? No, I'm just kidding. But, well, kind of not kidding, but that's how it went down. I was like, can you guys put on hold, like, these three colors? They were like, we are not allowed to put anything on hold in this collection. I was like, girl. So you got a lot there? They were like, yeah. I was like, there's a lot of people? They were like, no. I was like, I'll be there. <laughs> and I'm so glad that I went in person and I encourage you guys to do the same if you haven't already placed your order because it oxidizes. And I tried four different shades. I believe I tried 400, 410, 420, and 430. So from online, I originally thought I was like 420 or 430. But when I got there, one of the girls said that they had already tested it and they were like, it does oxidize. So we encourage you to go lighter than what you usually do. So so if you are purchasing online, I want you to know that. So here I am walking around for Sephora, like swatch, 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 swatch. And y'all know the lighting in Sephora is like, it's not the best lighting ever. So sometimes you have to go outside. I encourage you to do that as well. So even though I'm doing this first impression with the corrector now, in the store, I should have taken a picture too. But in the store, I did it without a corrector. And even the ladies at Sephora were like, you know, you should probably try correcting it a little bit so that it doesn't have like that ashy look, which is... I talked about that in my corrector video. I will link in this video. So I know for sure that it is not a foundation that I can rock without a corrector up in this region. Not working out for my life. Got some more new new too. But we'll talk about that in another video. So this is what the bottle looks like. And at first glance, and this is the same thing that I thought when I saw it inside of the store, I don't know about the whole white top, but I will say that at least it has like this like plastic feel to where it's kind of slippery. I feel like you can wipe it off. It is, I don't really know how to explain it, but I feel like you can wipe it off and keep it clean, but I probably wouldn't have gone with the white top just like straight off the bat. It is glass, I do believe. If not, it's a strong plastic girl. It feels like it's glass though. The highlighters, I swatched a couple of the highlighters and then when I wiped them off, it left like a lot of like reflex on my skin and I don't lean or I don't typically 
specifically choose highlighters that leave so much behind, so much like glitter behind or whatever you want to call it, the reflex. It left a lot of it behind. So I was like, oh, I'm going to leave you there. Now the primer, I was like, maybe I'll try it later. I don't know. But this is what we want, girl. This is what we want. So when I first put it on my hand, it was kind of liquefied, right? So, so liquefied. Y'all know that's my song. But when you put it on, it, it kind of like thickens or something. Like, I don't know how to explain it. And I totally thought this was not my color, but it totally worked out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna place it on my face and I am gonna use a beauty sponge, which I guess you could use a, um, a brush, but I used it with my hand in the store. I used my fingers and it applied so well. And I love the feeling of it. Like it was not heavy. It was very lightweight. Like the package says, I think I'll just do one side of my face first, but it was very, very lightweight. And the other thing that I love about it so far, because this is not a review and the complexion girl, it has your complexion looking right. So watch how it makes my complexion. That's one thing that I can appreciate was that even though it's kind of medium to full coverage or buildable, like look how it makes the skin look. Now when I, I you know what? I think I'm gonna put the other side on with my fingers cause that's what I did inside Sephora. And I was really happy with that. Oh, and the girl that was in the store, she said that everyone had to wear the foundation today, right? And so she said that she has kind of like normal to dry skin. So she doesn't really like matte foundations, but she said it's something about this foundation that now I don't know if she was just saying that because she worked there, but she was saying that it doesn't feel bad. It's probably a keeper for her. It lasts. And she had on the primer and she said they both felt good together. So now we're gonna do the other side. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna use our finger. And this is how I did it in the store as I said and I just kind of I was like oh my gosh I was really impressed but I will not be doing this in the future because I just I don't like using my fingers to apply foundation but you see it goes on great even with your fingers now I'm sure they had the brush there but I didn't even pay attention to the brush because that wasn't what I was there for so this is how it looks when you apply it with the blender versus your finger and there's like 40 shades in this collection that is how you drop a collection girl like that is what you do that is how you do it this is how we do it okay so let me finish getting this on I, I can't do the finger thing any longer i'm not mad at this foundation though i feel like it has great coverage i feel like it makes your skin look great i feel like it is buildable like the more i pile on as you can see it's not horrible and I feel like it does dry matte. So you do want to go ahead and blend because it does start to set. I even wonder if you can rock this without setting it. I'm not doing that on today because I have somewhere to go. But I wonder, it may be one of those foundations. And it has a smell to it. It's not overpowering, but I don't want to say baby powder, but it's something along those lines. But it's not extremely fragrant, but it definitely has a scent. But it's a fresh scent. Like it doesn't bother me at all. And we're back. And this foundation right here is flawless. And y'all, the pause. Let's just have a moment of silence because I did not have to mix. So before I get into all the deets, I'm gonna tell you right now, it has 1.08 fluid ounces. Like I just said before I get into the deets and then I told y'all, like I'm all over the, y'all, I'm so happy right now. This looks so daggone good. Like this is how you do it. There are so many reasons why I think I'm gonna love this foundation, but I do have a couple of cons and y'all know how we do over here. I give it all to you, okay? Numero uno, I mean, you just, you drop during New York Fashion Week and you had influencers. I mean, that was very clever if I do say so myself. And then like you drop at Sephora, like your very first launch, you launch at Sephora. Like you don't say, okay, we're going on my website. We're going to be at Sephora in two weeks. You just drop at Sephora. I just... I love it. You say, I got everybody's skin tone from the lightest to the darkest. There are 40 shades in this foundation collection. I'm happy about that. And so the other thing about the collection, the foundation is $34. That is extremely affordable because some drugstore foundations are up to like 20 bucks, 16, $17. So 34 bucks. This is looking good on camera. Like this is not the highlighter though. This is Oh for Beverly Hills, which is my fave, but this right here, like, I'm very impressed. It is a matte foundation. Y'all know that I love a matte foundation. Rihanna girl, I appreciate your ministry because I didn't have to mix. <laughs> 
So I got a little too excited. I didn't even go to the website. Y'all know how we usually do. I break it all down for you. So that is what I'm gonna do now. One con about it is that it has a white top. And the other thing that I don't like about the foundation is the fact that it oxidizes. However, I do appreciate that the reps knew that. It seems like they tested out the foundation already before they sold it. So they told me from jump, like out the gate, it oxidizes. So that's how I knew I needed to go lighter. It says medium on the website, but on the box, it said medium to full, I believe. Now for skin types, y'all ready for this? It is for sensitive, normal, dry, and combination skin, girl. To find your perfect shade, always shake before you use it to activate it, which I said in my demo. Pro Filter's rich pigments need a moment to dry down to their truest color. Okay, so that is, it's drying down to its true color. So I guess that's why it oxidizes, it's so pigmented. And it says, so when you're testing shades, remember to let the formula dry completely to find your perfect match. I don't really like the fact that it oxidizes, but what I can appreciate is when I was in the store, it literally only took a couple of minutes. If you follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, all those different places, I will definitely, you know, keep you guys updated, but I plan on wearing this throughout the weekend and oh my gosh, it feels like it goes a long way. I did do about like, I don't know, a couple coats, but you guys, I think we have a winner. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to thumbs up and share if you like, because sharing is caring or hashtag sharing is caring. I love you guys so much. I appreciate all of your support on this channel and on my new channel, Seeky Uncut. You guys have an awesome blessed day and I will see you sooner than you think. Bye. Seeky Beauty, coffin, this is key. You know what I mean. A woman feels good when she's looking pretty. Yeah. I don't need no Benz, Lexus, or a Range Rover. Just give your girl a bomb, Seeky Beauty makeover. Hey. Confidence is key, ladies. You know what I mean. Or maybe her eyeshadow and mascara will help you see. Yeah. Check out her foundation and the blush on her cheek. Yeah, we, we ain't playing, playing games. games. It's the Seeky Beauty. Yeah, Seeky Beauty. Beauty.